Well, hi there, idiots. Welcome back to Observe. In today's video, I'm going to be analyzing the nonverbal communication of James Charles in a recent tweet he made in which he talks about a previous employee in an upcoming lawsuit. I would like to be able to look at his body language and other channels to be able to see if he is leaking any truthful emotion or if there are any areas of possible deceit. Let's go ahead and begin. So James Charles is no stranger to this channel as he is no stranger to controversy. Today, while it is not a criminal offense which he is being accused of, it is yet another tick against James Charles. He released a video on Twitter in which he addresses the accusations of a prior employee and we would like to be able to see how honest he is during this little video. This won't take long, so let's go ahead and dive in. Hello everybody, James here. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're doing well as well. I really miss you guys. Um, don't worry, this is not my return to social media. But unfortunately, I am logging in today because I feel as though I am being cornered and have to make yet another public statement. Now, since this is not an apology video, I'm not looking to see if he's being sincere in regards to apologizing. I'm just going to be looking for any emotional seepage that will tell what his true intention is, his true feelings are, and also if there are any areas where he might be saying something controversial. Speaking of his nonverbal communication right now, he is outside, obviously. So he's walking about, gesturing quite freely, and he is talking rather softly. And this is something that has popped up in videos where he wants it to seem less rehearsed, less produced would be another way to put it so that is something that I've made note of but all in all there's nothing to be telling right now so I'm not trying to read anything into anything that's happening right now let's continue I know people are sick of these I don't blame you I'm not even gonna bother writing out like a whole notes out thing today I'm just I don't blame you and he has a small smile of contempt come in on one side of his face but he is also smiling in general so it's hard to be able to read in a full feeling of contempt into that situation however it could be something that he's feeling moral or intellectual superiority in regards to this so we've still made note of it but that is a possibility of emotional seepage that's coming out there gonna hit record and start talking to you guys one-on-one -on -one because there's a lot that i want to talk about and hopefully whoever wants to listen can just listen um as you guys know, for the past couple of weeks, I have obviously been offline. I've been taking time. So I will make note of a couple things right here in this little tiny blip. First, he has a substantial mouth blocking gesture, or at least it's a manipulator. He's touching his mouth in this area here. Now that could be because he's doing a mouth blocking gesture, which would be his subconscious telling him to not continue with the words that he is saying. It could be an indicator of deceit possibly not likely in this area largely because there's nothing to really say that would be deceitful in this but it does seem to be a fairly intentional mouth blocking style of gesture along with that i will note his blinking he has an average blink rate the average person blinks about once every three to five seconds obviously this is a pretty loose rule in that many people will blink more often than that and others will blink less often especially if things like contacts come into play but for those of you who have noticed his blinking in previous videos, I will point it out here that it has nestled back into that statistically normal blink rate. That's good to be able to note because perhaps there will be an area that it does not rest in that normal blink rate and it could be telling for us later on. I'm away to learn, to reflect, to talk to professionals, and most importantly, to try to help better the situation that happened recently in any way that I possibly can. Uh, I've been quiet online, but things behind the scenes have not been so quiet. There's a lot going on, and I currently feel as though the situation that I was in is being taken advantage of, and I feel as though I'm being blackmailed, which is why I wanted to film this video today. Um, for those who... Okay, so he says that he feels like he's being blackmailed and then he kind of leans back a little bit and he has a partial smirk of either disgust or contempt come onto his face. It's likely a combination of the two. Rule of thumb is with emotions, they rarely are just a singular emotion. People's emotional state is very complex and oftentimes you will see a mixture of various emotions and emotive states play out in their nonverbal communication because a human mind is far from simple. It's a very complex organ. In fact, we don't even understand how to fully qualify it despite all of the scientific research that we've done so far. So to assume that there's only going to be one emotion on the face at a time is 
pretty narrow-minded, so the fact that we're seeing a combination of these emotions at once is not unusual in the slightest. Let's keep watching are not aware. For the last two years now, I've been dealing with an ongoing lawsuit from one of my previous employees. This is something that I have never spoken about, I've never mentioned, because I wanted to keep it private out of respect for her, uh, and the fact that it's literally an ongoing litigation. Uh, but she's now speaking about it, which is just perfect time considering everything else. Okay, so he's doing some things with his eyes. That's the most expressive part of him right now. His mouth is staying pretty average. There's not too many tells as far as the direction of it being pulled, whether down in fear or up in disgust or to the side or so on and so forth. And it's not really doing anything extraordinary. There's no anomalies there. His eyes are going nuts. Uh, he's doing a lot of blinking, a lot of eye widening, a lot of eye blocking as well, which would be extended or prolonged blinks. You could see those happen occasionally in there. And he also has that in relation to bringing up this previous employee that he had and how she is coming out and talking about some of the work conditions that were going on. Now, a prolonged blink has a myriad of reasons behind it. However, the primary one is that it's separation between the stimulant or stimulus and the person themselves. So he's blinking in regards to that and it's a prolonged one and this can be in frustration or boredom or anywhere in that anger category of emotions. So that's not uncommon and it would make sense that an employer who was having pretty rough relations with a prior employee would have some frustration in regards to that that's going on. Um, basically, when I was 18, I moved to LA. I was living in my downtown apartment, as you guys know, and my YouTube channel was just starting to take off. I was filming and editing three videos a week by myself for my channel, and I really just wanted help, so I hired an editor. This person worked for me and then was later promoted to my producer, which means she was no longer editing. She was helping me film videos and was like my right-hand person for a salary of $72,000 a year. Another mouth-touching gesture in there as well. Another mouth Touching manipulator would be the correct way of saying it. He has a little touch here, he's already touched here. So there's something going on with his mouth or subconsciously he's attempting to not say the words that he's saying now. Perhaps he's thinking to himself that he shouldn't be saying this, but he's releasing it anyways. And it is on his Twitter and it does seem to be fairly unrehearsed, which is also another sign that it might not be very well planned, which could be an indicator as to why he's touching his mouth so much. Perhaps it is his subconscious saying, hey, let's, let's not talk, <laughs> let's not do this. We know that we shouldn't be doing this, but he feels obligated to do so. She only worked for me for about six months and then was let go, and now I am being sued. Um, the suit was online, you can read through it if you really want to, but it- That is a pretty short work period to be able to start as an editor and then go to the full, perhaps I misunderstood. Maybe she was an editor beforehand, correct me. If you watch James Charles and you know who this person is and kind of the backstory around this, as far as the timeline goes, did she work as an editor and then move to the producer side of things and that that was only six months or was the whole editing to producer only six months and then let go? And that is never a fun time in an employee-employer relationship. So correct me if I'm wrong, but if it's only six months, that's an extremely short period of time, which to see somebody get hired on and move that quickly through the ranks, so to speak, and then get let go so quickly thereafter, there is something that causes that. Either there's a miscommunication that started off at the beginning of the work relationship, or there is a work-life imbalance most of the time. So let's see. Basically alleges that she was wrongfully terminated, overworked and underpaid, all of which are untrue. I have a very, very small team. I've always had a small team. There are not many ex-employees because most of my team members have been with me for a really long time now. My team is like family to me. I love them all so much. You guys know a lot of them from being in the background of my YouTube videos. And I stand behind the fact that they are very, very well taken care of. The fact that this is like even attempting to become a narrative makes me feel like sick to my stomach because it is wildly, wildly untrue. And I am so grateful for the people around me. The only thing that I'm getting from him non-verbally right now is aggression, and that's kind of masking any of the more subtle nuances underneath that. He's very aggressive in regards to this employee, and I'm not totally sure as to why. If we're going off of his words, then he's saying that he takes a great care of his very small team, which a small team is no big deal, but if it's a very small team and he's a very large YouTuber, now playing this out logically, that's gonna be a lot of work for those small number of people. 
So the fact that he's saying he has a very small team and they're very well taken care of, they might be compensated quite okay, but that doesn't mean that the work-life balance is there that you might need. So he's saying he has a very small team, but he takes really good care of them and he's being very aggressive. And there are these accusations from this girl about him overworking her and not giving her the correct compensation for the amount of time that she is pouring into the job. Let's continue watching. Uh, the case also kind of makes it seem like she's just trying to get back like the wages that she feels like she should have been paid for her work, which I wish were the truth because in reality, this suit is actually for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, if you're not familiar with cases like this, they're unfortunately pretty common in like the entertainment industry, but they usually don't actually make it to court, which may sound weird, but it's for two different reasons. The first one being they are ridiculously long. Uh, this was filed two years ago. People are only finding out about it like now, but we are not even close to getting an actual so you can see when he says now, the side of his mouth is pulled upward lightly. This could be another indicator of contempt whenever you see a smile or a smirk come in on one side of the face while the other side remains fairly inactive. That could be an indicator of contempt. And that would actually fall in line with the words that he's saying where it's only coming out now, insinuating that he knew about it beforehand, obviously. And the contempt expression is a reflection of that emotional state. Needless to say, that's just synchronized body language. So far, there hasn't been an opportunity for me to read really any desynchronization to see if he's being deceitful because there hasn't been anything that could be considered deceitful quite yet. I'm going to keep watching though court date yet so it is a long long process and quite a headache um because it's so long reason number two so much touching of the mouth this is beginning to push me in the direction of it rather being a subconscious move which you rarely see it come up again and again and again and again and again that repeatedly but rather it's more of a conscious move that he's doing or there's something that has happened physically and so he feels the need to touch his mouth. That is commonly the case. This is not a hard fast rule by any stretch of the imagination. So he could still be subconsciously trying to keep himself from saying certain words or he feels like he's saying too much, something along those lines. But it's really hard to be able to say that for certain because it's happening so, so much. This doesn't have the feeling of emotional leakage. This more has the feeling of something happened with his mouth that he just feels like he needs to touch it regularly. It could also be a self-soothing gesture. There is that distinct possibility. So we can't count that out either. Regardless, we're making note of them as they continually pop up is it gets really, really expensive really fast for the defendant, which in this case is myself. So most of the- hmm. All right, so he's feeling genuine frustration here. This is genuine emotion. You can tell because of the psychophysiological effects that it's having. His face is lightly, and I mean lightly, flushing. There's just a small tonal change in the tone of his skin. It's slightly more red, AKA it's flushing, and this is an indicator of a couple of different things. It could be an indicator of nerves. Some people will flush when they're nervous, though this doesn't seem quite so likely because he seems to be in a backyard or something along those lines on his phone. What this would make more sense, especially in the context of what he's saying, is that he is frustrated and it's showing up at a very genuine level. It's very hard to control your flushing. This would be one of those very reliable nonverbal tells, the psychophysiological ones that we can't control on any level, even if we wanted to, those are considered extremely accurate. So to be able to see that flushing come in, even though it's just a little bit, to see that come in, that means that he is genuinely frustrated by this. So we at least have a peg on his genuine emotional state at this point. This will help us understand later on if we see something spike from that. Time, the defendant will settle, which basically means paying an amount of money to, ew, sorry, paying an amount of money to the person making the suit to just drop it and move on. Uh, and I'm not going to act like this was not an option for me. Settling is oftentimes a good option, a smarter option, because it's faster, it's cheaper, and it's a lot less of a headache. Um, she is suing me. She has sued other YouTubers in the past. She was bragging on Twitter about how she just settled another case recently, so this is clearly a thing. Uh, but settling is no longer... So something that James uses regularly in his nonverbal repertoire is he uses his eyebrows as accenting marks for what he's saying. So they will raise in certain areas where he's really trying to amplify the words that he's saying. Also, you can see in this one where his eyes are widening in certain areas. That's also very intentional. So there's nothing we can really read 
out of that. He's intentionally opening his eyes very wide in order to amplify the words that he's saying, add more weight behind them. This is very, very common. People will do this in everyday conversation. It's to add weight to words being said. You could even consider it as a parent who is talking to a child who got in trouble. They will raise their eyebrows and open their eyes wider oftentimes to be able to add weight to the words that they're saying. This is happening here. It's just helping us understand James's nonverbal repertoire right now options on the table and I'm going to tell you why. This past week I was reached out to for comment about a news article that is coming soon uh, and I learned that she is talking to the press about this lawsuit and what it was like to work for me as an employee. However, she's adding a ton. So he has a lip compression and a longer blink, an extended blink in there, which could be seen as an eye blocking gesture. Once again, this isn't hard set in stone, but it is regular. It is something that has statistically come up that in those sort of situations, there's a negative emotion towards whoever is being spoken of, a very concrete animosity, and it happened for the normal short profile that emotional states will end up lasting. So that would be an indicator of genuine emotion. He has genuine animosity towards this person. So later on, I don't know if he says anything directly towards her, but if he tries to speak kindly of her, we know that that part is untrue because he has already shown multiple instances of genuine anger, frustration, and contempt in regards to this person. So that's how he really feels in regards to the person. Of absolutely ridiculous, absurd, untrue, defamatory, just the, the craziest claims you could ever imagine. Uh, and in my opinion, it's an attempt to pressure me into making a much, much higher settlement offer. Once again, I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. These claims range everything from, I was so lazy, she had to force me to get out of my bed and brush my teeth. And without her, I would have never made a single video or a single dollar, but also things much more serious and disgusting, such as that I used to say the N-word around her all the time. This is just perfect convenient timing as well, considering this past weekend, my old Twitter account, which- The constant emotion during this and across the entirety of the face, it's very synchronized, is anger, frustration. It's very, very synchronized, as a matter of fact, which means that it is genuine. He's extremely mad and very passionate about what he's talking about now. Now, we'll get to why I don't have much appreciation for that later on in the video, but the science has shown us that so far he is at least genuinely upset about this. And there are some things that I would like to cover about that later on in the video. Let's kind of see if we could wrap up this one. I have not accessed since 2016 and only has one tweet, I guess was hacked last year and the hacker publicly tweeted somebody the N-word and people actually thought that it was me. The worst part about all of this though, the furrowing of the eyebrows there in that specific expression would be considered genuine. It's a very small, minute movement. Also, you can see the eyelids go up just ever so slightly. Very small, very, very small. Let me, let me be clear there. It's not a very noticeable change, but the entire expression is extremely noticeable. You can see that he's intensifying here with his anger, disbelief perhaps, or frustration. Those can all go hand in hand quite cleanly, and it is genuine here as well. Is that if I were in some universe to make this ungodly amount of settlement money, if I was to pay it. I'm sure a lot of you are smart enough to take a guess as to what would happen to these claims. They would be retracted and they would magically go away. I, I can't believe, I can believe this. I shouldn't say that. I just don't want to believe this. This is, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss for words. This is just disgusting. I know that my lawyer has been like a, a topic of conversation, a, a meme. A we could still see that flushing coming in here. Like I said, psychophysiological response of genuine anger, very hard to be able to muscle that up intentionally if you are trained in acting classes or sometimes it can come naturally to be able to manipulate that side of your psychophysiology, but it's not common, it's very uncommon and we know that James is not an amazing actor, so this is genuine emotion from James. That still does not change the fact of, you know what, no, I'm not, not gonna talk about it, I'll talk about it at the end part of my internet persona for a while now, and I get it. But contrary to popular belief, I have never ever paid anybody to speak or to not speak about me, and this will not be the first time that I do it. It just won't. And unfortunately, at this point, my only option- I actually believe I'm there. 
His frustration was genuine, and the micro-movements of his head was genuine. His facial expression was synchronized across the entirety of his face, ergo lending me to believe that he is being authentic here. I doubt that he has ever paid anybody off. Do I know that for certain? No, not at all. I couldn't know that for certain. I would put about a 75 to 80% accuracy read on that. So take that and leave it as you would. I doubt that he has paid anybody off is to pursue this to the fullest extent of the law and hope that one day whenever it does get to a courtroom in the future, justice will be served. The problem though, and why I'm making this video today, is because until that- Big self-soothing gesture that he used there, the super sternal notch sits right in here, and it's very common for people to be able to manipulate that area of themselves while doing a self-soothing gesture. This doesn't mean that you're just touching the skin or the shirt around. It can be a tie, it can be a necklace. Oftentimes, if somebody is wearing a necklace, they will fiddle with their necklace, and it's in that same area. It offers the same sort of mental feedback as a self-soothing gesture would. So that is very common in areas of agitation, nerves, so on and so forth. Whenever somebody is up at their mental threshold and they need to be able to come back down from that, self-soothing gestures will start spiking in various areas. James is genuinely agitated here, so he's doing a subconscious self-soothing gesture to help himself come back down. Happens one day, we are dealing with the court of public opinion, which is a very, very different situation. And it's a court that is not on my side right now, which is just frustrating because, like I mentioned earlier, I feel as though this is all just to pressure me. There has been two years of time and opportunity to speak about any of this stuff. But but now it's happening, and now we're going to the press, and now we're doing this back and forth. It, it just feels it feels so wrong to me. Um, I wanted to make this video today. So many overt mouth touching gestures, so many mouth manipulators that he's doing here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. That is a very odd spike in his nonverbal baseline. He doesn't normally touch his face that much, touch his mouth specifically that much in his videos from what I've seen in the research that I've been able to do. He does an average amount of mouth touching that you might expect in just about anybody. But here it's very prevalent. What's going on with that? Is there a physical reason for that or is there a psychological reason for that? I'm not really certain. The detail of the camera quality isn't enough for me to be able to see if there might be inflammation or something along those lines going on to cause a physical reason for that. But there is still a very prevalent and obvious and repeating mouth manipulating gesture that has popped up again and again and again. Is it mouth blocking? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. It hasn't lined up really with anywhere where it should be mouth blocking. But the words around it could all also be considered to be something he shouldn't say. Perhaps this entire video is something that he feels he shouldn't say, so subconsciously his hand continually comes back up to his mouth to remind him of that. Doubt it, but could be, or like we said before, it could be a self-soothing gesture, again, to help bring himself back down from the anger threshold that he continually has been reaching, genuinely reaching. To give anybody who may care and any of my followers some sort of background, some sort of explanation, some sort of insight into what's actually happening behind the scenes because it's crazy. And I don't want this article to come out and just blindside people because it is going to come out. And when it does, I know that it's going to be bad. And I totally understand that people are going to think whatever they want to, regardless of what I say, regardless of what receipts, screenshots, legal documents that I pull. And that's okay. That's, you know, everyone has a right to their opinion. I just want to give some sort of explanation so you guys know and hopefully you're able to see this and what's happening here for what it really is. I am sorry to my followers. I'm sorry that you're going to have to see this. I'm sorry that you've had to see everything. I'm sorry, this part wasn't super genuine. I feel like this is something that he's adding in there to be able to try to still maintain relations with some of the people that are still somehow fans for him. But he says, I'm sorry to my followers, and you can see his head does micro movements now. Just, I'm sorry to my followers. Just very small, unintentional movements that his head is doing. Now in America, I say this in most videos because it is something that does change and it's very clearly changing from culture to culture. In America, the left to right movements of the head means no and the up and down means yes. So in that context, when your body being brought up in the American culture, when your body is experiencing a negative, it's more likely for it to naturally do a no. So with that in mind, when he's saying, I'm very sorry, and his head is moving no like that, mm, I would believe the micro movements more than the intentional words. The micro movements are harder to control, not completely uncontrollable, but very hard to control, and the words aren't. Anybody can say, I'm sorry. 
And so the fact that his head is shaking, no, I just wouldn't believe that. I don't think he's very sorry for it. I don't think he's actually putting too much thought to it. I think what, actually, I'll tell you more what I think in a bit. Everything that's happening over the past couple of weeks because it is so frustrating and it's so embarrassing, but there's not much that I can do. And there's not much that I can, am able to say about this either. All I can hope and pray is that one day justice is served and you guys are able to see me for who I really am and this situation for what it really is. That's all that I can hope. Um, but until then, I guess I just have to wait patiently and just, you know, come back when time is right. And I don't know, I'm rambling at this point, but. I can tell that he has actually been going on through this for a while. These shrugs, the head shaking, the exasperated sighs, those are all indicators of somebody who's just frustrated and reaching the end of their rope. Chances are, at some point, he has actually reached the end of his rope and he's trying to recollect regularly. There's like five more seconds of this, so let's watch that. If you made it all the way through, thank you for watching. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I love you and I hope you're having a good day. Bye. Okay, there we go. End of the video. So, from what I saw during that entirety, is actually quite quite synchronized. He seemed to be very authentic in that. So the nonverbal communication, the science side of things, we saw his baseline in his regular speaking patterns. He speaks very fast, that's not uncommon. He uses a lot of hand gestures, that's not uncommon. His blinking rate was in the normal blinking rate that a normal person might be going through, through statistical evidence showing that it should be the once every three to five seconds. So that was normal as well. We saw a lot of synchronized frustration, anger, some possible contempt slide in here and there, and that repeated self-soothing gesture or mouth manipulating gesture that he did again and again and again. He couldn't seem to stop touching his mouth. I do not know why that is. I still do not know why that is. It was so prevalent though that I could not ignore it. So if you know, maybe there's some sort of story context that I'm not aware of as to why he continually was doing a mouth manipulating gesture. So non-verbally speaking, he was authentic. There were no points besides the I really am sorry side of things that I could see possible deception leakage. And it seemed as though his emotions were quite clearly being shown on his face. Now, where I take issue with this is not in how authentic he was being here, it's actually in how authentic he was being here as compared to his other videos. He has been accused of far more heinous acts than being a bad boss, but his passion wasn't existent in those. In this area where he has money at risk, and according to him, a large amount of money at risk, suddenly we see the passion behind things. We see his genuine frustration, his genuine emotional state because the money is being threatened. Over here in these other allegations towards him that are criminal in their nature, we didn't see that passion. It seemed to be less genuine, interesting. And I think what that does is it really paints a picture for those of you who might be still holding on to some hope as far as James's character goes. It helps us paint a picture between what he cares about and what he doesn't. It shows clearly that he cares massively about money. He wants to save his money, to get more money, to not have to spend any money. It's all about the money for him. The fact that he has a small team that I know he has to work hard. I don't have nearly as many subscribers as him. I don't have nearly as big a business as him. So I know that there are a lot of things on his plate because I myself have a ton of stuff to do and I'm very small. So if he's that size and he has all of these different avenues that he's working with, I can guarantee you that his team is overworked. Regardless of how much you get paid, it's still possible to get overworked and to be burnt out. Now, depending on how much you want that money is how long you'll stick around for that. The fact that she only lasted six months is fairly telling in that front. Being overworked is not uncommon. Now the issue is, is that he's so passionate about his money where he didn't show that same passion about the allegations brought toward him in the criminal nature that they have. We know now what he cares about. And we know it's not about the allegations. So if you're watching this and you were having huge hopes that James was just down at heart being a really sweet person, down at heart, James cares about making more money and saving the money that he has. That's what he cares about, not about the rest of it. When it boils down to it, James is gonna take care of him far before he'll take care of anything else. And that plays out in his money. Now, this does bring up a good point. People have a right to their money and they have a right to do whatever they want with their money, obviously. 
but it is still a matter of character that we are able to see here. So just keep that in mind when you see future ventures from James. Is it really going to be for the good of his subscribers? Is it going to be for the good of his employees? Is it going to be for the good of the general population? No, it's really not. Because down at the very base of it, as we've seen through this video today, is that he is passionate about building his wealth. So that's my opinion side of it. Like I said, all that we can really see is that he was very passionate and genuinely frustrated by that. The rest of this is just opinion based off of logical processing out of the rest of all of the rest of the information. So let me know, did I miss something? Do you disagree with what I've been able to say in my opinion side of things? Maybe I missed some tells that you saw while the nonverbal things were playing out. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If you do agree with me, I appreciate it. If you did like this video, consider hitting the like button. That is quite literally the physical representation of it. If you do want to be able to see more like this, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to put out two videos every single week. That might be able to up here soon. We'll check to see how that goes in the future here. If you would like to be able to see some impromptu live streams here and there, or perhaps see videos more frequently or quickly or whatever it is, try hitting the bell button. Although I have heard so many mixed reviews about the bell button, and I myself have had mixed reviews about the bell button that I Frankly, you do what you like on that one. Uh, if you want to be able to support the channel, there's a whole pile of ways that you can do that through the links in the description below. You choose your favorite. Um, the one that I'm going to be putting more time and effort and money into will be the Patreon content. I hope to be able to put some lessons out there and some other analysis and so on and so forth content over there for you to be able to hopefully appreciate. So consider that as well. Uh, but those are all of my little pitches for myself. I hope you enjoyed this video, but, but, Without further ado, that's all that I've got for the day. My name is Logan and you have been oh so awesome as you always are. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers guys.